Hello, my dear friends. I am very happy to see you and I hope you're having a very great time. If you watch my YouTube channel, my videos on this channel, I hope you're constantly doing it. Then maybe you have noticed that I call them Dao and today I want to tell you the secret why I do so. The history of this of my Dao videos goes back to several years when I only begin writing my Russian blog denakan.livejournal.com not for you and I watched a video which was filmed by a crew, a crew of one of the Russian airlines who made the approach in Sochi airport it is a very very nice destination here in Russia the airport is located on the shore of the Black Sea and it is very close to the sea so the approach uh, you will find the approach over the waters and then turn towards to the runway, descend over the nice seashore and the mountains very high and very nice mountains are located to the opposite side of the airfield so you're flying over the sea towards the runway towards the mountains and then when the weather is nice and the skies are clear uh, <clears throat> this approach can bring you lots of positive emotions and lots of fun and pleasure. So these pilots put the camera on the glare shield and they were on, a, on the final approach and, and an interesting discussion. If you, they, in the cockpit they looked outside and discussed everything that appeared in their field of view, for example. When approaching the minimum, uh, the decision else you pay, uh, looked at the military ship and discussed this fact, then they descended below the decision altitude, and I want to underline that decision altitude is a very important stage of flight, stage of landing. So they continue discussing the people lying on the beach, and then they, uh, they switched off, they disconnected the auto flight which has been turned on during all that approach and then successfully landed the airplane, so that's all. The video was very short, but really it was very enthusiastic and it got and received lots of likes by its viewers under the video. Uh, people like such positive videos, you know, I was sure that you do also like it, but I didn't like it. I didn't like it and I put a small post in my blog where I described my attitude towards such pilot's behavior in the cockpit. Landing is the most critical phase of flight. Even if you're flying to such nice destinations as Sochi, even if the weather is nice, uh, you must monitor what is happening in the cockpit, but not on the beaches. You should be prepared. If you should be ready, you should be ready if something goes wrong. For example, a bird strike, which is most probable when the altitude of flight is very low, especially when the weather is nice and the summer is outside, a bird strike may and can immediately turn all whites to blacks and revert all your positive emotions to a very negative state. The autopilot in turn works great in most of the times and I think that in 19, in 99.9% .9 of time but it also can do you harm cause a lot of troubles if something goes wrong. If it all happens rather far from the from terrain you have plenty of time to handle the situation but if you are flying very low and descending towards terrain over the waters, especially over the waters, you have to be prepared for very quick response. Most incidents and most accidents happened during takeoff and landing. Do you think that these pilots were happy with my response? And maybe you think that all the viewers, all the people who put their likes under this, this video were happy? Of course, no, and if you think that you're happy, you're greatly mistaken. 
I was called as a stupid instructor. I was called as a dull pedant. I was called as a robot. I was told that I, nothing could have happened because the autopilot was on. I was rather disappointed by the fact that people, especially pilots, do not think about the risks of being so unserious while being doing such a serious and demanding work. And then I uploaded a couple of my in-flight videos. I, they showed our routine procedures during takeoff and landing and uh, as an intention to add, to include a piece of humor, I named them as my dull cockpit videos. So the idea was to show that even if a pilot is trying to follow all the rules and all the procedures, flying is never dull, really. So you may do your work as it is required to be done and still get a lot of fun and a lot of pleasure from this routine. So several years has gone since the days and I see that this idea works and it really works. Flying is never dull, even if you're doing your best to follow all the limitations, all the rules, to fly, to comply with all the procedures. Moreover, if you know what to do next, if you know what you are doing in this cockpit, what you have to do in every moment of your flight, and what to be aware of if your colleague in the cockpit knows what to do and what to be aware of and if you both work in the same way so you cope easily with most of in-flight situations normals, um, abnormals, whatever and even if the weather is not at its best or the, air, the airport you are flying to isn't the easiest one so the fact is doing your work correctly may bring you even more fun and more emotions, more pleasure than you're playing a much role looking at girls who are 300 feet below the airplane instead of flying this airplane. If you want to be a much pilot and you may buy your own airplane and do whatever you want, but please do it somewhere far from normal people. If you decided to become to be a normal to be an airline pilot, then you have to leave your matches such uh, somewhere outside of the airplane. So this was my little secret. Now you know it. Now you know why I call my in-flight videos dull. And while of course flying is never dull, and even if you're an airline pilot whose work is strictly restrict restricted by narrow borders of rules procedures and limitations. That's all my friends. Uh, thank you for your attention. Enjoy your lives. Enjoy your flights. And fly safe.